I do need to walk our camper tonight, but tonight it's a little bit different. I'm actually, oh, speed bumps. I'm actually going to a campsite to do some car camping. Whoa, it's hilly in Wales. <laughs> this is my first little foray into car camping in a campsite. I'm quite excited for it. I feel a little bit nervous, like doing it on my own. I don't know why. <laughs> like I've been to many campsites. Like, I don't know. It feels weird in a car on my own. But whatever. I've just been to check in. She gave me this nice little map. I've been allocated pitch number four. Before I do even anything, I think I am going to go for a shower because I've just been shat on this morning. My jumper. I have to wash it in the toilets and I feel like I've got some in my hair or something. It says there's, to there's toilets and showers so I'm going to hopefully go and get a nice warm shower but this little tamping trip coming to a campsite as you know if you've been watching the channel i have been doing lots of car camping recently and been loving it and partly it was like to get away from the home renovations that i'm having done and you know just to get out and about i haven't got my van so i've been going in the car um just like on the street and stuff it's like you know just stealth stealthily sleeping but I figured I wanted to just try out, I don't know, I was out last night and I just wanted to give a campsite a try. I found this one, £9.50 for the night. And so that's what we're doing. I want on this trip to figure out what I need if I'm going to come to campsites. Like, I'm already thinking, like, I could do with bringing a chair with me, a camp chair. Although, I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a chair, maybe like a little table thing, but it might be that I have stuff and I can make do. Like I don't want to necessarily go out and buy things if I've got stuff that will be okay to use. Like I've got a camp chair at home. But anyway, yeah, that's what the purpose of this trip is to see is what additional things, if any, do I need if I'm going to be coming to campsites. <laughs> Almost forgot my towel. Already, this is a million times better. Just cooking myself a bit of toast. The sun has come out. It's glorious. I've taken my jeans off, put my shorts on, take my t-shirt off, put a vest top on. It's so nice. I'm just gonna relax here. In the sun, I think. Maybe if I'm using campsites, it's more of a thing to go later on after I've gone and done my thing for the day. Which then does it make it difficult? Because the whole thing I like about car camping is not having somewhere where you have to be. I suppose you can book campsites like last, quite last minute. It's just nice to be able to, like, for one, go for my shower. I like just, I've hung my things over the car to dry and stuff. It's nice to have that outdoor space, which obviously you just don't have when you're stealth car camping just on the street.
I've had a lovely evening, afternoon, just kind of just relaxing on the grass, not doing anything. Um, I've just been packing up to get ready to settle down for the night, and I've realised that I've had my doors open all afternoon. It lets the midges in. Close, close the door, see where the midges are, and see if I can like waft them all out. I think maybe I've wafted them all out now. I hope I have anyway. I don't want to be sharing this little space with midges. Two there. One there. I need to get them out. Oh no. There's one there as well. Oh, disaster. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay, that's five. I'm going to go to the toilet. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm really annoyed at all these midges in my car. I'm gonna go to the toilet and like clean my teeth and stuff and get ready for bed. For bed. Alright, this is the toilet situation. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that mini hole. That's cute. I have gotten to bed, as you can see. Like, it's super early. I say super early, it's not as early as I used to get into bed when I'm car camping, like, out on the streets. <laughs> it is, what time is it? Quarter past, quarter past eight. But I've gone and, like, you know, done my nighttime stuff, gone to the toilet, brushed my teeth and things. I'm just getting into bed. Not to go to sleep early, because I think, like, these midges have done my head in because I would like lie with like the windows open and stuff but there's so many around I've caught about six now I'm hoping that's it but like my thought is I'm gonna like for a little while and see see if there's any more around I can get before I go to sleep it's nice to not have to like close put my window things up like let me show you. Like, my windows are closed, but, like, that's just nice. That's, you see those smears on the window, that's where I've caught two midges. Um, but it's just nice to kind of lie here and be able to see that, rather than feeling like I have to put my um, window coverings up. So it's just nice, I'm, I'm enjoying it, being on a campsite. But maybe if I had, like, a chair or something, maybe I would set out for a bit longer but I'm like I'm just not massively comfortable outside like I've been like lying on the floor sitting on the floor for a while not well, since I got here I'm kind of done with it if I had a chair I think yeah definitely I'd be out longer but anyway I'm just gonna lie here and see if I can catch any more midges ah oh no doctor on my bed he's dead but okay I got him I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my G. But it's you or me. It's so lovely out there as the sun is setting. I think there's just one guy left. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. The second one just arrived. I think they're breeding. I have caught, I thought there were only two, but I've now caught three midges. I can see one sitting on the dashboard. Look. Beautiful. Oh my god, there's a midge nearly going in my mouth. What is this? <laughs> They're just taking the mick now. Okay. There's been a lot of bug talk. I, it's flying out of my bloody head. There's been a lot of bug talk, I get that. But this is good. Because now I've realised that what I want to car camp is actually the the stool that I thought potentially that I wanted I think stool is a no-go if I'm going to have anything I want a proper camping chair even though obviously that takes up more space in the car but that should be okay a little table isn't really necessary but I guess if I'm on a chair I kind of want to raise where I'm cooking and stuff so a little table but also what I think would be really useful is 
those like bug screens over the windows I think they would be quite a good thing to have as well considering my current predicament I am going to sleep it's about quarter past nine which is quite late for me when I'm going car camping I've got this a window covering on this window little slit you can see they're not the best window coverings like they're just little and things like they're all right and I've put my front one over but I've left the one opposite me free so I can like look out and see the hills <laughs> um I realize that does mean that the sun is gonna wake me up at like I don't know half past five or something in the morning but I don't care it's worth it I definitely do enjoy being on the campsite in like the more relaxed feel about it obviously like when I'm out on a street I feel very much like this is a weird thing I'm sleeping in my car this is odd whereas you just on a campsite it's like well yeah you're sleeping in your car like no one cares I just need one last little look at the sky before I went to bed oh beautiful Morning, it's 5.45. I knew the light outside would wake me up. I'm not ready to be awake, I want to go back to sleep. But I think I need, I'm gonna reorganize this bed. I forgot, usually, let me show you. On my thing, you can't even see it. So I have my like blow up, blow up bed there. And I've just got my sleeping bag. Usually I bring a a blanket to put on top of that and it's so much more comfortable with the blanket. <clears throat> I think it's definitely needed. Like I've slept well, like I slept well last night and the night before. I've been car camping without the blanket but I like my, I don't know, I can just feel it like it doesn't feel massively comfortable. So I think I'm just going to put the seat back up and lie crossways across the bed. Across the back seats, I mean, see if I can get another hour or so. I probably can't, it's too light now and I'm too awake. But that's my plan. Oh, that was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that feels so much comfortable, more comfortable. And the problem with sleeping, when I first started car camping, I was sleeping across ways. But the problem is it's just not quite long enough to stretch out. Like I can stretch out if I sleep the other way, but I'll be all right. I need to just get in my sleeping bag. Oh. There's no way I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> oh, that's better. I did end up going back to sleep at about eight-ish. That was nice. I think that's one of the good things about being on the campsite is that I feel more relaxed in the morning. When I'm out on the streets, I feel like when once it gets to like next seven, and people are starting to move around and things I feel like I have to get up. It's just nice like now just sitting here, I've got the window open. It's just more relaxing. <laughs> of course it is. Thought I'd just give you a quick look around this campsite. So they've got the Elson Point there and toilets. I think these two buildings, I'm assuming you can hire them if you've not got your own like caravan or you know tent or whatever. There's two hot tubs here, which is cool. I like this. Hot tub hire, adult only. That's why we checked in yesterday. 
and all the different bins. Then what else have we got? Oh, I think they do like they have like a little bar and get food and stuff at the weekends. It's nice, it's kind of small, simple setup. It's got just got everything you need. It's time for me to pack up and go home. I've had a really nice time. Just to wrap up my thoughts on this, I think that there's obvious benefits of coming to a campsite and the things that I think I need is like the chair. It's where, they, where these fit in the car and things, but the chair, the little table, um, maybe the bug things for the windows, some citronella would be nice actually. Uh, and I think that I don't think I will exclusively use car, uh, campsites when I go car camping. But I think there's definitely something that I will build into and like every so often will use one. It's been, it's been interesting. Thanks for joining on this little car camping adventure with me. Off home. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. I should probably get my maps up. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs>